Hi, Chris here from Dot Product for a brief tutorial on the import procedure to bring Dot DP Point Cloud data directly into Autodesk Recap, which is also the portal into the entire Autodesk suite of products. The first step here is to select New Project and then Import Point Cloud. Then it'll prompt you to give a name to your new project, so we'll call this Test 1 and hit Proceed. And then we'll select uh, Select Files to Import, and it'll prompt you to open up a window and select your Dot DP file directly after which you'll see this new intermediary screen. This screen is important because by default, Recap will decimate your data and we don't want to do that. So you want to select the advanced button in the center of the screen before moving from this intermediary screen. That'll give you the option to bring your decimation down to zero millimeters. Uh, by default, that will be five millimeters if this is your first time bringing a point cloud into Recap. So it's really important that you bring that down to zero with our close quarters, high density, full color dot product scan data. So once that's done, you want to select Import Files on the bottom right. And then you'll see there's a new load circle in the top left that'll show you your progress. And then you want to select Index Scans. Now as this is processing, the bottom load bar won't move from 1%, but as you see, the top left loading circle is now progressing as your data is imported into Recap. Once it finishes, you move back to the bottom right and select Launch Project, and there's your DP data in Recap. Here in Recap, I'm going to show you a few quick examples of what you can do with your Point Cloud data. This is the Autodesk Point Cloud Management tool, so there's a lot of functionality built in for working with your dot product color point clouds. First off, I'm going to crop out the roof on this room, for example. So if I scroll down to the bottom here and select the Limit Box Edit option, it'll give me this box that I can move around. I can drag down the ceiling. I could also do the same with a wall, for example. Then I hit Confirm to complete the crop. You can also just select with your mouse anything that you want to crop out of your scan and hold Shift or Alt to add or subtract areas. So it's a white wall that you should see, be able to see there that I've selected this area and I just press Delete on my keyboard to take that right out. You can also measure distances within Recap. So if I want to measure point to point, I can select multiple areas that I want to measure from directly within Autodesk Recap. One other useful functionality is the fly-through capability. So if I switch my view to fly and then hold the left button on my mouse, I'm able to actually move throughout my scan, having a look at all my data and flying through the areas of interest. There's a lot more built into Recap, including annotation, different measurement functionality, etc. Um, but for now, we're going to move on and show the import procedure into AutoCAD. So I'll switch my view back to the standard view. And in order to import into AutoCAD, what I want to do is export an RCS file. So I'll go to Home, Export. You could also save a Recap project that will also go into AutoCAD as long as you're working locally on the same machine and you're not moving files around. The safest bet, especially if you're sharing the data, is to export a unified RCS point cloud file. So we'll call this Test1, save it to my desktop. And then there's another important step here, similar to import, where you want to make sure Recap does not decimate your data. By default, during RCS export, it will decimate by 5 millimeters. So you want to see this little gear icon, hover over that, and bring the spacing down to 1 millimeter. Then you hit Let's Go to unify my project scans. Next, we're going to pull up AutoCAD and bring that RCS file in. So I'm going to start a new 3D file, so I'll select Start New Drawing. And then I'll track down the insert point cloud feature. So if I go to the top here and hit insert, attach, it'll let me bring that point cloud file right in. So I won't see it at first because it defaults to RCP, but if I switch to RCS, I'll see that test1.rcs. Then you have an option of whether you want to use your um, set coordinates that would have been set probably on the tablet of your X, Y, and Z origin point, or you can specify on screen, which means you drag it around and place it where you want to put it. In this case, I'm going to leave it with what we've already set and hit OK. 
give it a second, and then you'll see that that uh, same cropped file from Autodesk Recap has come directly into AutoCAD. Within here, you can also measure from the data and now utilize it as a reference as you design a new AutoCAD design file around the existing conditions as shown in your dot product scan data. For any further questions, please visit dotproduct3d.com or contact support at dotproduct3d.com.